Today, we are going to be testing out Google Gemini's new free air updates. And we're going to be live right now to test Google's brand new Gemini updates that just dropped. So we're testing, for example, like Gemini Flash, the new voice app building options, Nana Banana. And we're actually going to build some tools that you can use inside your business. Real stuff, not just theory. It's going to be great because you'll be watching me learn this at the same time you are. So if it breaks, we'll see if it breaks together. If it works, we'll see exactly how it works. So stick around. So we're also going to turn these updates into actual business systems you can copy. Let's go. All right. So we're going to get straight into this and we can start using the new update from Gemini here, right? So you can actually switch to Flash. Now, Flash is a faster version of Gemini Pro. The difference is the Flash is actually outperforming on many benchmarks Gemini Pro, which is pretty amazing. Now, you can go inside here, you could go inside the canvas and you can say, okay, based on what you know about me, build a powerful app that would save me time every day, right? And we can start building now, as you can see, right? Pretty simple and easy. Mac Verley says, shout out to you, bro. The Flash model is actually pretty good for day-to-day -day tasks, I would agree. Yeah, yeah. the Flash model is pretty awesome, to be fair. I've been super impressed. I remember the last Flash model, and it was not as good, 2.5, but this option seems to be a lot more interesting. And then what we can actually do is we can compare Flash versus other tools, right? So you got Flash here that we're building an example with. And if we go to the chat here, here's an example of an app that I've actually built. And we can test this out side by side. There's definitely my go-to. Yeah, super interesting. So we're going to switch to Flash here. You just do that by selecting Fast. If we create another split screen, we'll test this against Thinking, which is Gemini Pro, or we can switch to Pro over here. We can do a split view on Chrome, so we can compare these side by side. So we've got Flash over here, and then we have Pro over here. All right. And then let's say, for example, we wanted to create a thumbnail image generator. Or let's say, for example, I'm going to ask Claude. You know, like, and we'll say, okay, create a 3D runner game that's futuristic, retro. That's fine. We'll do that inside Fast and then also inside Pro. All right, so this is the new update from Flash. This is the relatively old update, but I say old, it's just come out like within the last few weeks. It's just that Flash is a lot faster, right? Now, one thing we need to do is make sure that we have Canvas switched on. So always make sure you have Canvas switched on if you want to build something like an app or a game. I feel Gemini should update its UI. Is, it is very basic. I don't know if they've done that on purpose, though, just to simplify things, because I know like the way ChatGPT works so well is because it is so simple. It's so basic, and that's what really works well about it. So you see the Flash is a lot faster than Pro. Machiavelli says, did you do a deep dive on Pomelli? The system is amazing. Yeah, I've actually got a few videos on Pomelli. It's pretty amazing as well. So we've got Neon Nexus. Let's try this out. And this is the 3D runner game. That's pretty cool, right? That is very cool. Wow. And you see how much faster this is built out versus Pro, which is supposed to be the more powerful model, right? So Flash is super impressive and it builds some awesome stuff. Pro is still not finished coding out, but you can basically see that this game is absolutely awesome, right? If you want to share that, we can just copy it like so. You can share that on social media or whatever. I'm actually going to share it with you because I want to help you. So if you want to test this out, we'll plug that in right there. And that's inside the AI Success Lab. Link in the comments description. It's completely free. Connects you with 40,000 members and you get access to this stuff. And also what you can see here is that Gemini 3 Flash actually scores higher than GPT 5.2, Opus 4.5, and Gemini 3 Pro on SWE Bench Verified Benchmarks, right? So you can see the benchmarks here and you can clearly see that Gemini Flash is actually outperforming all of these other different models, which is pretty crazy. Happy early holidays. Happy holidays to you too. And if you go back now, we can compare them side by side. So let's try this one, Neon Rider. To me, that it just doesn't seem as good, right? If you have a look at this, that doesn't look anywhere near as nice or as fun as the one built by Gemini 3 Flash. And so I think like the UI and the game itself is way more interesting. Like literally nothing is going on here, right? Whereas if I play the Flash one, look how much more fun this is. Like it looks crazy. It's way more engaging, way more interesting. The UI is better. It's a bit smoother and there's a lot more going on, right? And so that just proves that the Flash is actually better in many ways. Merry Christmas. I'm new here. Good to see you. Son of my guy. And you see how you can build basically anything out with Gemini 3 Flash. It's like, what's really interesting about this is like last week, I probably spent about 45 minutes writing detailed prompts to build a single content checker tool, right? Typing, editing, retyping, testing, fixing errors, right? But today with Gemini 3 Flash, I can build the same tool just by talking to my phone whilst walking outside, right? And that's not theory. That's just what Google has made possible. And the old way was like you would type out detailed prompts for 20 minutes, whereas now you can just talk naturally like you're explaining to a friend. Before, with Gemini Pro, you'd have to wait like 30, 60 seconds for AI to process, but now you can get answers like way faster with Gemini Flash. Let me show you an example. So we go on a new chat here. This is Flash. This is Pro. All right. And we'll say, okay, you know, what's the best way to use Gemini Flash? Let's take a simple example like this, right? So Pro versus Flash. Look how much quicker Flash works versus Pro. 
Pro just takes a lot longer to respond, whereas we've already got the answer and it's very in depth from Flash. Right? And so look at the difference in speed. It's absolutely insane. And Pro still hasn't answered. And even when it does, it's basically the same, right? That's literally like the same looking answer, right? The only thing that I'd say is this is probably a bit more simplified and a bit quicker to use, but it's actually formatted nicer as well. Look at the formatting of that versus the formatting of that. Which one do you find better? I find that one better. That one's easier to use. Gemini Flash is absolutely mind blowing in many ways. Also, you can basically draw what you want with Nano Banana. So if we go to a new chat here, we can click on Nano Banana, create images, and then you can upload, for example, like a photo of yourself. So let's upload a file here. Here's an image of myself. And we say, okay, make this man go surfing, something like that. And we should be able to use Nano Banana with Gemini Flash to start creating an image directly here. They also have, what's interesting is they actually have an AI detector now inside AI as well, inside Gemini for videos, which is pretty cool. And you can see here's a picture of me surfing. So I literally, we just took a picture of me and then now we can quickly generate these images and me surfing. Looks basically the same. And this is also free. You get access to Gemini Flash for free, which is pretty cool as well. Have you tried the controller test on Flash? Here we go. Our pair is a legendary member. He's been here for a while. And he gave us an awesome test to do. So we got to test this out. All right. So we're going to take Gemini Pro over here. Canvas and Canvas. All right. And we'll say, okay, create a PS5 controller in HTML, right? And this is something that basically every single AI I've ever tested fails at it, apart from like Claude Opus 4.5. So let's see if Flash can do it. I've got high hopes for Flash. So we're going to plug in the same prompt inside Pro and Flash, and we'll compare them side by side to see which one does the best. The other thing I would say here is a lot of people believe that building automation takes weeks. And people often say, I'd love to automate my business, but building takes forever. I don't have weeks to set this up. And that was true before, but not anymore. With voice commands or Gemini free flash or just typing in what you want with the canvas, you can describe a complete automation in the time it takes to drink your coffee. The best part is that's what AI does now. You just describe it and it builds it. So the real problem is not time. It's a build assumption thinking you're the one building it. The new rule is that you're not the builder anymore. You're the architect. You describe an AI builds. And this is why they call it like vibe coding. You give it the vibe, it writes the code. So I would recommend that you pick one repetitive task that you do every single week. Open Gemini, describe it out loud like you're telling a coworker, let it build the automation. And if you did that today, how long would it take you? 10 minutes, something like that? Wow. Okay. Shout out to you for just giving this test because look at the differences. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. And I'll tell you why. So this is Gemini Pro, which is supposed to be a more powerful and up-to-date model. It competes with all the big boys in the world, and it's one of the best, right? This is Gemini Flash, and you can see the differences here in the quality of the outputs. Look how messy this looks. Look how bad it looks with all the design and the colors and everything. It just doesn't look or feel quite right. Whereas, let's have a look at, like, you see even here, like how the buttons just click to the side. It just feels and looks a bit messy. This one looks a lot cleaner, and you can see here, like, I can just move the analog sticks around. It feels supernatural. We can click on these buttons. We've got the dashboard over there, or the trackpad. And then we've got these buttons here that we can click up and down. And it actually detects what we're pressing down here. Right? This doesn't detect what buttons we're pressing. It doesn't have anything. This one actually sees that we're using the joystick, right? You can see at the bottom, it annotates it there. The best versions of this I've ever seen, to be honest. That is almost as good as Claw on 5. Yeah, I would agree, right? What a difference. Yeah, I would agree. Like I think Pro is nowhere near the same level here on a direct test. It's absolutely mind blowing. And again, you can get Flash for free. You can code with it as well. If you want to use the API, you can actually use the API and it's a lot cheaper than using Flash Pro as well. As for example, here, if we go to models and we'll compare Flash Preview, which is a model I've just used, and we'll compare that versus Gemini Pro, right? So we'll add a model here. So this is Gemini Pro Preview, and you can see the context window is exactly the same as Gemini 3, and they can both reason as well. But this one is designed more for speed. However, as you can see right here, it actually gives really good outputs as well. But here's one of the biggest differences. So if you're using the API, again, it's free to use inside Gemini directly if you go to gemini.google.com. But if you're using the API, look at the difference in cost. This is 25% of the cost of Gemini Pro Preview. So Gemini Pro Preview is $2 per million tokens input. Google Flash 3 is 0 0.50 cents per million tokens, right? So it's 25% of the price. The same for output here, right? And it can still deal with the same modalities it still has the same output modalities. It basically does everything the same, it even has the same context window. But as you can see right here, you tend to get better outputs with Gemini Flash.
pretty amazing. And that shocked me. Try to make an animation of a 2D duck riding a bike in HTML. What a test. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. You only live once, don't you? And this is probably the best way to make use of my time. So make an animation of a 2D duck riding a bike in HTML. So we'll plug that in. Oh, we've got to select canvas. We'll do the same over here and we'll start plugging it in. And again, like it's just mind blowing how much faster flashes but yeah whilst we're waiting for that let's talk about the 30-day blueprint or automation so i call it the flash leverage system right what you can actually do is you can actually oh look at this now we're talking ducker cycle 1.0 the duck is late for the pond it's incredible it's incredible and look how much faster flash is it's literally like four times faster but yeah, I mean, there's all sorts of different automations you can actually build with this. Actually, to be fair, I do think that Pro has generated a better output than Flash over here. Like, why is the whole bicycle going up and down? I've not seen many ducks running the bicycle, but even when they do, I don't see that happening. But this one is a lot more realistic, a lot smoother. So I do think Pro is one on that round, to be honest. Yeah, I would be surprised if Flash did better. Yeah, I would agree. But yeah, you can see the differences right there. But let me talk you through a 30-day implementation plan on how you can use this, right? What I've actually done is set up a 30-day plan where it gives you homework on exactly what you can do step by step, right? And you can actually use this system to start implementing this, for example, like onboarding systems, social proof, etc. And it shows you day one, day two, etc. Here's what you're going to do, right? Here's how to scale it, etc. Right? Down to track it. So if you want to learn exactly how to implement this stuff inside your business, get a 30-day plan. You can get that inside the AI Success Lab. Link in the description. I've actually shown you a bunch of ideas and stuff you could actually build with this as well. As you can see, let's say, for example, I have an AI automation community, AI Profit Boarding. I can take an app like this, for example. I can go inside Gemini and inside Flash Pro just to compare them. And what I could do is build something that I'm going to use every single day. So the community question responder. So for example, I can paste a question from school. We get three response options, which is the best fit for that person. And then we get better community engagement in less time. Okay. So we'll plug that in over here. And now we can build an app that my team might use every single day to help really answer people's questions. All right. That says congrats on 300k subscribers, by the way. Really appreciate that. I appreciate everyone who got me there, including you out there. Wouldn't have done that without you, everyone watching here now. So that's amazing. Yeah. Give it, bear in mind, three years ago, I had about maybe 3,000 subscribers. So it's grown super fast. For the first couple of years, I didn't get anything. And then recently, it's just absolutely blown up. Yeah. Appreciate everyone. It's been amazing. What a journey. Hopefully, we keep growing. So now we can paste in the information from the questions inside there. We just get some answers, right? So this will be an automation that's super powerful for anyone building a school community, for example, or a Facebook group, etc. So we can now take a question from the Air Profit Warning. Let's take an example like this one. There we go. All right, we'll copy that. We'll go back to here. We'll paste that in. Generate options. And we'll do that inside here as well. And now we've got the quick, the detailed, and the teaching method, right? And so like my team could just quickly take that, copy it in to school, like and then just answer people's questions like that. And so all of a sudden we built something that would save a lot of time. Imagine trying to answer those questions manually versus using the AI automation method, right? You can see this is like actual stuff that you can implement into your business. Can we try creating some infographics? Absolutely. All right. What we actually do is create an infographic builder. So we'll create an automation tool for that. So I'm going to say create an infographic builder tool that uses Nano Banana API inside it. If that doesn't work, I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna go over here and what we can actually do is do that inside AI Studio, right? We can use Flash Preview to help us code. So create an infographic builder that uses Nano Banana API inside it that generates infographics based on the info I plug in, okay? The other thing that you can use for that is you can go to Notebook LM, right? So you can go to Notebook over here. And once you've created a notebook, like you can see with this one, you can generate infographics. Here's an example. So we actually created this infographic automatically using Notebook. And it's actually free to do that inside Notebook. And it generates these beautiful different infographics, as you can see inside here. And all you do is you click on the infographic. You can also edit it before you post it. So you can change its portrait or square, choose the language, the level of detail, and describe exactly what you want, right? Now, inside AI Studio, we're waiting for that to code out. But yeah, as AI gets smarter, your channel will get larger. I hope so. That sounds good to me. Thank you. The supporter says, yo, good to see you, Sportis. My man. All right. So we're going to click on allow here and we've got the data points and then we'll put in okay, AI automation. We can add more facts, but I'm just going to do this as a quick one. See what we got. Scully says, Goldie, what we're talking about, Scully, welcome here. And now we've got this infographic that we've generated in one click, right? We can also download that. Boom. There we go. All right. So you can see how you can build all this stuff and how easy it is. To build out again all the notes are inside the ai success lab if you want to get access to this stuff if you want to get the infographic builder it's all in there too we've got the 30 day plan inside there and examples of what you could build bear in mind i built number three live in front of you and it took two minutes yeah and don't just look at me and think oh okay like it's easy for julian he can do this blah 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 
right? There's a lot of people getting results with AI, right? And these aren't made up success stories. These are real posts from real members showing what happened when they implement these systems. So if we go inside the AI pocket one and win section, you see all these wins of people just getting results with AI, right? So anyone like you, if they can do it, you can do it. A lot of people inside the AI pocket one never used AI before, and now they're just getting awesome results. As you can see, people launching their own products. So for example, look at David Nielsen, right? He built his own product and launched it on product times. So shout out to him for example, and just loads of cool stuff that's happening inside the AI Puffer board over here. As you can see, people winning with this stuff all the time. For example, Johan built a logo creation, GPT. Shout out to Johan. You got, for example, what else we got here? Vladimir, who built his own mini courses for this sort of stuff as well, right? Pretty amazing. So if you want to get this all inside the AI Puffer board, you can see how people are winning with this. We also have some testimonials from people inside the AI Puffer board too, like people just winning. For example, like Eric programmed a WordPress plugin with Manus, which is pretty amazing. Steven never used NA10 before, then built an automation that freed up 10% of his time with NA10. You can see Andrew, who went through the linked uh, AI automation training and built his first AI after. There's just so many results you can get with this. But here's what it comes down to. It's like, you don't need to become a programmer. You don't need to master every AI tool. You don't need weeks of training. In. You just need to describe what you want and let Gemini 3 Flash build it. And that's the whole system that I've shown you today. So the Flash leverage system works because you already know how to talk. Gemini already knows how to build. Voice is faster than typing, testing, piece planning. The simple works better than complex, all right? And you can see here, Spoilers says, if I can do it, you can do it. That's what we're talking about. Spoilers is a legendary member inside the AI upper board. Scully says, congrats on hitting, hitting the big 300k. Thank you very much, sir. Appreciate that. It's been a journey and it's been an amazing one of that. AGI by 2035 is my reason why it could be earlier by 2030s. Yeah. Who knows? But I'm going to give you some homework now. So after this live stream, the next 10 minutes, go to gemini.google.com, tell it one thing you want to automate, see what Gemini builds, right? Then pick one system from week one inside their automation plan, build it completely, test it real work. This week, complete week one of the 30-day plan inside the AI Success Lab, go to Classroom and then December 2025, and post your progress inside the AI Profit Boardroom, right? And then help at least one other person inside the community. And this month, just follow the complete 30-day plan, build at least 10 working systems, calculate the time you save, and share your results. All right, so thanks so much for watching. All of this is inside the AI Profit Boardroom. If you want to learn and get access to the community, you can. But 1,800 serious builders inside there who are building and learning and growing and scaling with AI and AI automation. You you can see, for example, inside the classroom here, we have all of these different courses. For example, if you want to learn how to build your first AI agent in under five minutes, you can inside this tutorial. If you want to learn how to go from a complete beginner to an expert, you can inside this six week automation masterclass. You also get all of my best SAP updates, as you can see, my full playbook on how to build like AI avatar video and a calendar on weekly coaching calls. Plus, if you want to connect with me personally, the AI Profit Boardroom is the only place that I connect with people personally. And you can just DM me inside the AI Profit Boardroom. I go through the DMs and I clear them out every single day. So if you message me, I'll get back to you. And yeah, it's one of the best places to learn this stuff. All right, what we got here? My fairly says Google is a monopoly. Got to love it, bro. Yeah, 100%. Like pretty much all I talk about now is Google's updates because they have the best. Click Stanger says, goat teacher on the planet. Thank you very much, sir. And Scully says, thanks so much for all your hard work. Happy to help. Appreciate you all. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, that's basically how to use the new updates from Google Gemini.